If I was 35% body fat and I wanted to get to 15 or 10% body fat, this is exactly what I would do. Now, 35% body fat is extremely high. However, you might be surprised to find out that what I do to get from 35 to 25, to 25 to 15, to 15 to 10, nothing much really changes. You're gonna be doing the same kind of things, but how it feels on the body is gonna be different. And the effort you put in is going to be different throughout that whole time horizon. Number one is making sure you're in a calorie deficit. Now, at the start of this journey, you're gonna to want to make sure your calories are as high as possible because there's a long way to go. You're not gonna to wanna to drop your calories too low because this is gonna be a very long journey. And more than likely, because of all the body fat you're carrying around, you're gonna be able to eat more calories to start. This is a big mistake that people make when starting on their weight loss journey. They go too low in calories and they burn out and they've got nowhere to lower the calories. Keeping your calories as high as possible from the start is going to keep that metabolism elevated. And as this is going to be a very long journey, you're going to want to keep that metabolism as high as possible from the very start and gradually lower your calories as time goes on. In terms of cardio, I personally just aim to hit 10 to 15,000 steps per day. I find this is my sweet spot. One of the biggest and most underestimated tactics is optimizing your sleep. Nobody talks about this because it's not sexy. But have you ever had not a great night's sleep and the next day you're pigging out and you've eaten and you're tired? Well, if you get a good night's sleep, it optimizes your hormones and you eat less. And if you're gonna start working out, you can have more energy. So the biggest factor is if your sleep's all over the place at the moment, Get that sleep sorted and start optimizing for a great night's sleep. Because calorie deficit and sleep and weight loss, they all go hand in hand. Now, the next one might not be for everyone and you don't need to do this, but I would start doing resistance training. There's no need to go all bodybuilding style and doing five, six days a week. You can just start with one to two days, basically doing the main compound lifts and start building that muscle now so that once your body fat eventually gets to the lower stages, you're going to have a great looking physique and great looking shape. While we're dropping this body fat, we're gonna be wanting to be optimizing for health as well and how we feel. So getting 80% of your food from whole foods and the other 20 from what you fancy is going to contribute to a long-term successful body fat drop. Now, in terms of protein intake, they usually say about one gram per pound of body weight. But if you're at 35% body fat, you're not gonna need that much protein. So if you say you want to go for 0.82 grams per pound of lean, body mass. As your body fat gets towards the lower end of the spectrum, it's going to be a lot harder to shift that body fat as the body is coming to its optimal body fat percentage. Now, even at 10%, the body doesn't usually want to be that. That is just too low body fat. But people want to get there because simply it shows the muscle they've built, it shows definition, and you look a lot leaner. However, this doesn't mean that it's not attainable or achievable. For long-term sustainable fat loss, it's usually a good idea to shoot to lose around 1% of your body fat of fat per week. So if you weigh 300 pounds, it will be three pounds of fat. Now don't confuse body fat with body weight. Yes, in the first week you'll drop more than three pounds, but this will be a combination of water weight, gastric emptying. The longer you're in a calorie deficit, the more chance you've got of feeling this dietist fatigue. And this is where naturally sometimes people will take a break for a week or two, they'll hold that body weight, then once the metabolism reboots, they'll feel they can take the next step and do the next phase. As you get leaner and leaner and your body fat slows down, this is an approach which may help you keep making progress over the long term. 